In this video, we will learn how to install media pipe in Anaconda and we will install this through Anaconda prompt or the terminal and not through this navigator because through navigator we can install only those packages which are available on Conda channels and the media pipe is not available on Conda channels rather it is present on the PyPy repository so we can not install this through Anaconda navigator. So now we will open the Anaconda prompt or the terminal. So in case you are using windows then you will open the Anaconda prompt or in case of Mac it will be the terminal. But the steps which I am going to show here that will work exactly in the same way for both Anaconda prompt and the terminal. So now I will open the terminal because for my case it is the Mac system. Now once you open the terminal or the Anaconda prompt this base environment would be already activated and now before installing the media pipe first we will create the virtual environment and then we will install media pipe library inside that created environment. So to create the environment we will type conda space create space hyphen hyphen name space and now we will type the name of the virtual environment which we want to create. So let's say this is media pipe then underscore e and v and now at the last we will type space again then python equals to and now we will give the python version which we want to install in the new environment. So this is the important part here. So here I will type 3.12. So make sure that you are not giving the latest version of python which is 3.13 at the moment. Instead we need to give this 3.12 version because as of now the media pipe is not supported in the 3.13 python version. And now finally we will hit enter. Now here it is saying that these many packages will be installed in the new environment. So we are okay with that and we will type y here and hit enter. So finally it is completed now and our environment should be created. So let's verify that and for that we will list down all the environments which are managed by Anaconda. So for that we will type conda space env space list and hit enter. So here we can see that our new environment is also present in this list which is this media pipe underscore env. So it means our environment is created successfully. Now once we have created the environment we will activate that but before that let me clear the terminal once so that it would be better visible to you. And now to activate the environment we will type conda space activate then space and now the name of the environment so it was media pipe underscore env and hit enter. So as soon as the command is executed we will see this media pipe underscore env within these brackets. So it means that this environment is activated now. Now finally we will install the media pipe library in this activated virtual environment. So for that we will type pip space install space media pipe and hit enter. And once this is installed we will see this message of successful installation. Now to verify the installation let's print all the libraries that are currently installed in the current activated environment. So before that I will again clear the terminal once and now we will run this command which is conda space list. And now in this list we will see this media pipe library also which has this particular version. And now we will quickly try to import this media pipe library in the python shell. So we will type python and hit enter. So we are in the python shell now and now we will import the media pipe library. So we will type import then media pipe and hit enter. So now here it will take some time. So please be patient here. So finally the import was successful without any error and it took more than one minute for me. And now we will also print the version of media pipe. So we will type print then media pipe dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore and hit enter. So here we have got the version also in the output which is same as this one. So this is the evidence that the media pipe is installed successfully in our environment. Now let me know in comments if this video was useful to you and make sure to hit the like button and for free courses you can also refer the video description.